and it's so happy maybe in our country with our home. Welcome to Israel. It's a story today. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me everything about you. It's so happy to be your friend. And we are so happy that you are a friend of Israel. Only very happy. Welcome, welcome to our home. Welcome. Right, if it's all right with you, we'll go first to the first. Signing in if it's all right with you. So, can you? Ladies and gentlemen, please rise and welcome the First Lady of the State of Israel, Ms. Sarah Netanyahu, and the Prime Minister of India, Mr. Narendra Modi, and the Prime Minister, the Prime Minister of India, Mr. Narendra Modi, and the Prime Minister of Israel, Mr. Benjamin Netanyahu. Thank you. Welcome to Jerusalem, my friend, Prime Minister of India, Narendra Modi. You know, you've only been here a few hours, <laughs> and you've already visited Yad Vashem. You paid your respects at the tomb of the founder of our national movement, Theodore Herzl, and you've seen some of uh, Israel's cutting edge technology. We went to uh, a greenhouse on a warm day. Believe me, it was a warm reception. <laughs> <laughs> so you've had a, a glimpse of our painful past, but also of our promising future. And we're very excited to host you here. We have a great admiration for the people of India. Uh, I told you about the, my late uncle, Professor Elisha Netanyahu, who was a mathematician at the Israel Institute of Technology. And he told me many times about his admiration for the great Indian mathematician, Ramanujan. He said he was the greatest mathematician of the 20th century, but he said he was perhaps the greatest mathematician in many, many centuries. And this symbolizes the talents of the people of India. As uh, we know, uh, we have the talents of the people of Israel. And we believe in this partnership of talent. We both seek a better future for our peoples. Doing so requires a lot of work. It won't happen overnight, but uh, Prime Minister Modi and I have the same trait. We both want it to happen overnight. We're. Uh, tireless reformers, and I want to uh, congratulate you, uh, Prime Minister, on the reforms that you're doing to change Israel's, uh, rather India's economy, and we both believe that we can do together great things for the betterment of the future of our peoples. Uh, I have to confess to you that I've been inspired uh, by Prime Minister uh, Modi's uh, enthusiasm for yoga. Uh, to begin. He said to me, you can start at a low level, choose your level. So I'm starting at a low level, and here's what we're going to do. When I do a relaxing talasana pose, and I, in the morning, I'll turn my head to the right. India is the first democracy that I'll see. And when, when Prime Minister Modi does a relaxing pose of the uh, Vasishtasana, <laughs> and he turns his head to the left, Israel is the first democracy that you can see. So in fact, we have uh, India and Israel, our two sister democracies. Uh, in fact, uh, together we account for about 20% of the world's population. <laughs> but although we are unequal in size, we're equal in spirit. Uh, we believe uh, we can accomplish great things. We have accomplished great things. And we have many, many more opportunities to seize together in the future. But I have to say that we also face common challenges. And the first of it is to defeat the forces of terror that rampage through the world and threaten both our countries. So we must stand together in this battle, much as we work together to perfect the future. Prime Minister, we share a bond of democracy and creativity, a deep respect for the past, 
a boundless optimism for the future. And it's in this spirit, my friend Narendra, in this spirit of close cooperation and deepest friendship that I welcome you here to our home in Jerusalem. Thank welcome, you. friend. Thank you. Yadidi Hekar, Prime Minister Netanyahu, friends from the media, I thank Prime Minister Netanyahu and Mrs. Sarah Netanyahu for opening their home to me today. The fullness of their warmth and affection has evoked a feeling of home away from home. It reminds me of our own ethos of hospitality and welcome. I'm most grateful for the warm and generous hospitality. Friends, just a short while back, I laid wreath at Yad Vashem Memorial Museum to remember and honor over six million Jews' lives that were lost in the horror of the Holocaust. Yad Vashem is a reminder of the unspeakable evil inflicted generations ago. It is also a tribute to your unbreakable spirit to rise about the depths of tragedy, overcome hatred, and force ahead to build a vibrant democratic nation. Yad Vashem tells us that those who believe in humanity and civilized values must come together and defeat it at all costs. As such, we must resolutely oppose the evils of terrorism, radicalism, and violence that plague our time. Friends, the link between our people goes back to thousands of years when the first Jews landed on India's southwestern coastline. Since then, the Jews have flourished and their traditions and practices thrived in India. We are proud of Jewish sons and daughters of India like Lieutenant General J.F.R. Jeff, wow. Jacob, mm. Vice Admiral Benjamin Simpson, Master Architect Joshua Benjamin, and film actors Nadira, Solochana, Pramila, whose diverse contributions have greatly enriched the fabric of Indian society. Indian Jews are a living and vibrant connect to this shared history. My visit to Israel celebrates this ancient bond between communities across both our nations. And I'm happy that I will have occasion to engage with the rich Indian diaspora in Israel later tomorrow. Friends, in modern times, our ties have seen rapid growth since the establishment of our full diplomatic relations a quarter century ago. Common objectives of economic prosperity, strong technology, and innovation ties, and the need to secure our society defines the space for convergent action between us. Over coming decades, we want to frame a relationship that transforms the landscape of our economic engagement. 
India is the world's fastest growing large economy. Our focus on using technology and innovation to meet our development priorities provide, provides productive scope to expand our academic, scientific and research and business links. We also want to put in place a robust security partnership to respond to shared threats to, the, to our peace, stability and prosperity. I will work with Prime Minister Netanyahu to craft and build a clear action agenda to realize these objectives. Once again, let me express my sincere gratitude to Prime Minister Netanyahu and Mrs. Netanyahu for their warm welcome and generous hospitality. Thank you.